What is up? I am Super Viper T302, and this is my pack and roll remix any percent submission for SGDQ 2018. Um, so this category, I'm submitting any percent in this run. So basically, I just start at 1 1 and end at wall 5 boss, no restrictions. So time is going to start as soon as I select the first level, so let's get going. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so the first thing I want to explain is kind of how to go fast in this game. Uh, Pac-Man has a little boost feature, as you can see. Or if you shake the Wii Remote, uh, you can get a small little burst of speed that boosts you in one direction, and that's that's pretty much abused throughout the entirety of this run, so this game has a pretty simple movement. Um, the boost is useful because you can break boxes with it, and also when you do it off of a slope, as you'll kind of see here, um, like this, you get a little bit of height. And you actually can get a lot more height with that depending on the slope, which will lead to a lot of skips later on in the run. Um, anyways, these green barriers that you see there, they're called Galvis Gates. Um, to get past them, you need a specific number of pack dots for each one, which you can see in the lower right hand with the lower left hand corner. Um, so most of these stages are just kind of routing out pack dots and uh, just kept trying to unlock the gates as quickly as possible. I think this one needs 40, so there you go. A few of these are skippable, and I'll get to those later on in the run. Um, I'm not boosting in sections like this, because it's really not advantageful to do that. Because the space is so small, you'll just probably just go flying in the walls and lose all of your speed, which is bad. These first few levels are pretty basic, there's not a whole lot to say about them. I, it's fine that I messed up power about Most of the routes are very easy to pack dots, so... It doesn't really matter. I nearly forgot to split there. A uh, 1-3 is a really, really short level, um, so I'm going to use a slope boost here. I think I get a lot of hype and I can skip that ramp. And as I'm boosting into these boxes, I'm breaking Pac-Man in place using the Z button. Um, and this just kind of keeps Pac-Man from flying all over the place, so this is heavily in use throughout the run as well. Um, just to make things a little bit safer now. Okay. Done with that level. 1-4 introduces us to the Night Pack power-up, which does slow Pac-Man down significantly and makes him heavier. But, using it, you can actually break straight through wooden boxes, and you can also break through these metal boxes, which normal Pac-Man can't do. Right here, I'm going to do a small little strap, where I slope this from here onto this platform, just fire one side of pack dots, and then I'm going to slope it, and I'm going to kind of get back over there. Alright, I managed to... I fell off a little earlier than I would have liked, but I just keep the pack dots. That basically saves you from having to go back and forth and then collect those pack dots, and it saves a little bit of time. So the next level is 1-5. Uh, this level is where you're supposed to be introduced to light pack, um, which basically makes your physics really broken. Um, you can you last longer in midair, and um, you get a lot more height from slope boost. Like, if, here, if I did that slope boost, I would have gotten a lot more height. Um, and you'll see this in effect much, many times in this run. But it's actually faster to skip Light Pack in this level because he does move a bit slower than Normal Pack. And it turns out that if you skip Light Pack... Oh, well, I didn't get it here, but if you skip Light Pack, you can actually make it to these platforms here a cycle earlier, which can save up to around 8 seconds. Unfortunately, I was one pack dot short at the end, so I had to kind of, you know, go back and get it. So the next level is where we're going to really get to see a light pack in its fullest extent here, because we're going to be using it to default pretty much. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab night pack here, uh, go underwater, grab light pack, turn around, and now I'm heading back to the beginning of the stage, because I'm going to do the slope boost to head over here, which you're not normally supposed to get to until the end of that level. I'm going to jump around that boost pad, break that box, and then ledge grab here and hop into the gold platform without opening the gate. And that skips the gate entirely, and it saves around 35 seconds. It's one of three levels where we'll be doing gate skips in the run. Those are really big skips. Um, unfortunately, this is not a level where we'll be skipping the gate. I'm a little short on pack dots, so I'm actually going to grab some there. So, I'm using those bounce pads to basically give me a bit more height, and I the higher parts of the stage early, and then there's these boost pads, which allow me to kind of skip that type of power laser. We've tried using it. We've tried looking for a gate skip here, and you can come really close to making it to this last set of platforms with the slope boost as normal pack. But you need light pack to be able to get through that section. Um, and if you think that's bad, this level is even worse. Uh, this level, the goal platform is right behind where you start, but there's no way to slope boost to it from that first slope. You just don't get enough distance. 
so unfortunately we do have to play this entire level. Like, you can't just skip all of this. But it would be nice. And it, you do it is a very movement intensive level, though it is very difficult. You have to collect a lot of pack offs and there are a few sections that can be really bad. Like this one in particular is really hard to control pack in because he slows in with the high speed he's going at. It's really hard to keep him control and control enough to be able to grab us all the pack off speed. But I did so I had four reserves in the end. That's pretty easy. Yeah, sometimes I can get all the packed off in the first section, and uh, I'll barely have enough by the end of that section. So, the sections kind of cycle based, but the cycles seem a bit random depending on how fast or slow you go. So, it can be a problem. And I don't know if I said this earlier, but you do have to collect a lot of packed off in the slow level. So, that's kind of key. Uh, right here, this bowl is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm just gonna go around and collect the pack dots. You need 70 in order to get out of here. Um, I do want to mention, though, that finding your way out of this bowl is the hardest part. Yeah, I went the wrong way. So, it's really easy to go the wrong way there. There's no visual cue or anything to tell you how far you go, so you just kind of have to... You have a 50-50 shot of getting it right. Unfortunately, that's just kind of one of the things that can happen. But that's one of the few inconsistent parts of this run. This game is very easy to do consistently. So here's the first boss fight. Um, all those boss fights work by eating three power pellets to make them eatable, and then you eat all this himself. And the power pellets in this fight will always appear in the same spots no matter what. So the fight is basically just getting them as quickly as possible. Um, on the third power pellet, I am usually going to wait for all this, so that way um, he can catch up to me so I don't have to chase him down for a really long time, because that can be really interesting. Here I'm gonna grab Night Pack because there's a power pellet that's gonna spawn underwater, and I can also break that box so it doesn't get in my way later. You don't actually need Night Pack to collect this power pellet, but it's a lot easier if you do. And, uh, it doesn't really matter anyways, because we still have a way to call this on the power pellet. Right here. And that's World 2. Time for World 3. Uh, this world is one of the more difficult worlds in any percent. It's not it's not as difficult as it is in other categories, but it can be a pretty tough world nonetheless. Um, I have to wait on this platform for a little while um, in order to get a lot of pack dots. There's a cycle I want to make in the next section, so one of the things I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to get off here, feed some pack dots to that gate, and then head back. And that just makes it a little easier. I have to spend less time waiting there. Because the thing with this route is not only do I have to go pretty fast in order to make the cycle, I also can't miss a single pack dot because of the strats I'm going to be doing in the next section. I'm also going to go off to the right here. I used to think going to the left was faster, but it turns out you can just do that. Okay, so I made a little mistake there, but that should be alright. I should still be fine to make the cycle. Maybe? Alright. So, I barely made that. Oh, dang. So I unfortunately fell off here. I'm trying to ledge grab hop between these platforms so I can skip this car. Um, but unfortunately I fell off because I held the a little too much. And you do have to, and you can't, there's no other way to go to that platform, so you have to wait for another car to run. I don't know, 10 seconds. Not too bad, though. And here I can just slow boost to these last few platforms. And as you can see, because I skipped one of those platforms earlier, um, I have exactly enough pack dots to get it though. So there's a lot of ways you can go about doing 3-2. Um, this level, the beginning of this level offers a lot of different methods you can use. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab light. I'm gonna grab night pack to grab some underwater pack dots. Um, you can actually skip night pack in this section entirely, and it theoretically could save time. And it's not necessarily difficult, but it's really hard to save time with it, um, especially considering you have, if you do it optimally, you have to grab four underwater pack dots in a single um, fall into the water, and if you miss it, you have to try again. It's really complicated to explain. I might show it off if this game gets in. I don't know. So I grab that normal pack card. You can skip that and not have to eat Blinky in this section, but normal pack is much, much faster to control. So, we can go ahead and switch to him. It actually is a little bit faster to do this. Have to this because uh, you do you need my pack to break through this box. Right. Next 
versus three actually. This level is very cycle based, um, but fortunately, the cycles are really lenient. You don't really have to. You don't have to go terribly fast in order to make the fastest cycle for the most part. Like as you can see here, I'm basically waiting. Um, I could skip that, but that just means I have to wait even longer for this next cycle, which I just made. Um, you can miss one dot in that first section, by the way. So I'm fine. Um, in this next section, I'm going to try to minimize the amount of time I spend waiting on these platforms. So I'm going to grab three pack dots from here and then boost back, because I don't actually have to go to that section at all, which is a blessing. I'm going to head over here. I'm going to try to grab all the pack dots from here and get back on this platform, which I did. For most parts of this level is pretty self-explanatory. This ending here, I do have to go pretty fast in order to make the fastest cycle, but it's not really that challenging. And you're, you have plenty of dots for this here. Like, I can, I, and I can wait there. Still be able to make this. This is one of the easiest levels to do. Alright. So, next is 3 4. This is a level where I'm gonna be pretty stingy on pack dots. Um. Because I don't really want to miss any for basically the entirety of this level. Um. So. I'm gonna try to collect whatever I can, um, and I'll explain why once I get to the end of the level. Plus, I do kind of need most of the dots in this section, in order to get back to the game. I just need 55 or 58 in the section, so they're basically all worth getting. I'm gonna ditch Night Pack here, because as I said earlier, Normal Pack controls much faster and he's much easier to use here. Alright, so I missed that Pack Dot. It's not really worth going back for it. Because I kind of passed it before I realized it. So. It doesn't necessarily waste too much time to miss a lot of pack dots here. I only missed one, which is pretty decent. Alright, so this is the roller coaster. There's no way to skip it, because there's no way to get past the gates without collecting the pack dots you need, because Namco was kind of smart when they made this game, and they put a lot of invisible walls and around scenery, where you would normally be able to do scenery abuse. Um, so, there's no way past this roller coaster, you do have to ride it. But I am gonna die once I reach 80 pack dots, and that's, uh, I can respawn back at the checkpoint, but I'll still have all 80 pack dots, so I'll just be able to get to the game quicker. So that's coming up here pretty soon. So now I have 80 pack dots, I'm just gonna boost off to the side and die, and now I'm at the checkpoint, but I still have 80 pack dots, I need to go and the game's gonna autosave here because my life count changed. So, the game autosaves if your life count changes, if you update a score of any kind, or if you beat your IL time. Um, since this is kind of an NG plus style category, um, I allow you to have already beaten the game in order to uh, basically, and even have fast IL times and max out everything so that the game doesn't autosave because it's really annoying to have to wipe your memory every single time you want to do a run in this game. Also, this boss fight is really annoying, uh, especially that second phase right there. It's also allowed, if you notice in the lower right hand corner I have 7 bars of health, you're supposed to start with 3. Um, and there's, but there's various fruit items you can collect throughout the game, and again, since this game autosaves and it's a really big pain to have to um, erase your memory every time you want to do one, it's, it's allowed to have already have all of this. So that's World 3. Went alright. Uh, world 4 is one of the more difficult worlds in this game. Um, especially 90%. It's a really difficult world. This first room, this first level, is terrible as you can see. You just kind of get knocked all over the place. This is the only level in the game where you need every pack dot in every second level. I can't believe I don't do either. Um, and there's some cool movement here, but the movement is also really technical and really hard to get down. It's easy to just run into one thing. All of a sudden, there goes like five seconds. Between those things to get here a little faster. I'm pretty sure I'm a cycle behind where I should be. Alright, so I made that, but yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make that cycle, so I'm just gonna wait for it to back. I can't miss any dots here. I should be able to get around a 57 mile. And I have to hit that button to lower all the walls. Because that's the only way to get to the goal platform. Alright. 4-2, another pretty self-explanatory level. Um, it's 
very linear. Um, there's a lot of dots you have to collect. But there's also a lot of dots in the game that gives you. You will be taking damage in this level a lot. But thankfully, there's a lot of fruit items that we get guys where there are kind of damage to use for those soul. Here I grab Light Pack, and I'm going to use it to skip a lot of those bounce pads. Um, which does significantly put me short on pack dots, but again, there's a lot of pack dots in this level. Uh, I, I am probably going to take damage here at least twice if I. Yeah, there's one. This is a section where you would think that using breaks wouldn't be. You would think that using a break feature in a speedrun would be bad, but it's actually really helpful there because when you take damage, it's very easy to just kind of start swerving around with Pac Man and then all of a sudden you fall off the ledge. So, in this next level, I'm going to be using a strat that someone else named Jester98 found, where I boost across these elevator platforms, which saves zero time because I'm bound by a platform cycle midway through the stage. But it makes the cycle so much easier to rank. Like, that third jump that I did there is pretty tough to make. Sometimes you fall too short, but you can mess it up a couple times and still be really early for the cycle. It used it was possible before the boosts were discovered, but um, thanks to them now it's pretty much free. So you could technically go around these things here, but with the way this level is routed, it wouldn't really save time. Also, I just kind of boosted that second bounce pad there. That actually saves like two seconds. Oh boy. This next level is one of the biggest run-enders in any percent. Um, mainly just because of the boost here. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of boosts. This le entire level is basically just boosting. Uh, there's no way to fall from a higher section of the level to, the, to a lower one, because the game kills you before you even fall far enough. Um, but, so basically, we just kind of have to rely on boosting to get through the stage. This does make this stage really fun to IL, but really terrible in an RTA. Because as you can see, these boosts that I'm doing around these turns are actually a lot harder to see because of the slope around the camera. And it's very easy to just send Pac Man flying into that. And right here, this section is really cool because there's no guardrail yet. You can kind of end the pathway is really narrow, yeah. As you can see, you can still do that entire section. Really, really cool. And here, you can boost through this land, which you would think is hard, but it actually isn't. You're supposed to ride those bounce pads all the way across, but who needs to do that? This is speed right. And right here, you would you can't actually um, skip any of these platforms. You have to ride all of them, which also means you can't just hold up. You have to kind of hold back after every single boost. Otherwise, it's right here. That was a really good 4-4. 115 is really good for that stage in an RTA. Um, this stage contains another strap that Jester found. Um, I already missed a pack dot, that's kind of bad. That's not actually really bad, though, but it could be. Um, there's a glitch in this game where if you boost at the exact same time that you're grounded on a um, bounce pad or lava, then you will actually enter a boosting stage while doing the bounces. And that is abused heavily in this level because it can be done on both down as a lava, so as you see right here, I'm using it. And you can use it to skip a lot of those little down pads. And I'm gonna do my first lava boost. Wow. There we go. So we use it. We use lava boosting in this level essentially to skip some of those falling towers that you normally would have to climb. Um, which does mean health management is big in this level, but once again, that's why. That's another reason why it's useful to have these seven bars of health, because you can use it to get all that. Okay, so I think... Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention to my health there. I actually have two HP, which is bad, because now I can't do the final lock boost. If I have three HP, um, I would be able to... Ah, I'm dead. I tried to go for a lava boost there. It's nearly frame perfect, as far as I can tell. And it also involves using motion controls, so it's pretty rough sometimes. But that went alright. If I had waited a little longer on those platforms, I probably could have salvaged it. So here's the World 4 boss. 
This first fight is supposed to be RNG because it's random which way Golbus can rotate the platform, but you can just slow boost to the power calls as you see there. The second phase is really the only one where RNG is a big factor, and it's not even that big of a factor. Um, I, oh, oh, I accidentally... I accident, I thought I got a different platform RNG. Golbus can rotate the platform clockwise or counterclockwise. I got the slightly worse pattern. You can you can get that first that third power pellet early, but I kind of forgot what I was doing for a second. Right, so this third phase is actually really easy. To do with the now we're on to the final world of the game, World Five. Um, every level in this world has a skip of some variety. Like, every world, every level here has a major skip. Um, this level probably has the biggest one, 5-1. That was found roughly a little under a year ago. So you just see that the, you're seeing here that the gold platform is right next to the beginning of the stage. But there's a bunch of invisible walls that prevent you from reaching it by invisible slippers. But as it turns out, there's one slope you can boost off of if you have light pack, which means I have to go through that first gate. There's no way to skip it. That will allow me to reach that corner of the gold platform and skip the second and third gates of this level. So that saves around 50 seconds. Um, here's the third level with the gate skip. As I said earlier, you're not supposed to be able to fall and not die, but the distances here are, happen to be small enough where you can just... Um, oh, I think I had... I think I had fast five dash too, so yeah. You can you just There's a Oh, dang it, I got off by the hammer. I wasn't paying that much attention. So yeah, you can fall, basically. Because the distances are small enough where it won't kill you. And right there you use a glitchy ledge bounce to skip that gate. Um, I went for fast five dash two and paid the price for it, basically. And here's five dash three. This is literally the shortest level in the game. You just fall from the end. Five seconds, literally. Anyways, and now here's 5 4. This level is actually somewhat long. I'm going about this first section. This might, this my route might look kind of roundabout, but this is actually the fastest route. It's actually faster than the route I used to do this by around four seconds. Um, this level is very movement intensive, and there's a lot of cycle based elements here. Like right here, I'm going to try to skip a cycle by going around this gear early and making it through there. Normally, I'd have to wait an extra cycle for that. And now here I'm going to do some more cycle skips. Uh, by going across the corners of these platforms, I don't have to wait for them nearly as many times. So, there you go. Now coming up is another really big skip. Once I reach Light Pack and the bounce pads that are right in front of it, I can use them to boost to the last year of the level. Um, and I'm, if I go at 49 seconds, then the cycle is going to end up. There you go. That saves around 25 seconds, if done optimally. And anyways, here's the final boss. Uh, once again, the power pellets will always appear in the same spot, so I know where they're going to be, so I just gotta get to them fast. Overall, this game is really enjoyable. It's a really short and sweet game. It's got a lot of tech to it. Uh, I feel like viewers would definitely enjoy it with the amount of skips, the crazy skips this game has, especially near the end. And I really think this has never been showcased in a GDQ before, and I've put a lot of work into this game over the past couple of years, and it would really, really set it would, it would be a good show for an audience. So there's actually two phases to this final boss fight. Um, the second phase is, a really, is also really cycle based. Um, with the ghosts that move around and the platforms that rotate and the bounce pads. Um, so. I have to be careful to not die anywhere in this fight, otherwise I have to restart the fight. One more eat left. Um, timing is gonna end when I eat all this for the final time, by the way. Time. So 
that's 2432. That is actually a minute and 10 seconds off of my PB, which also happens to be the world record, 2322. This game is pretty well optimized, and I, again, as I said, there's a lot of really neat tech to it, and it would really work well at a GDQ. Besides, it's a short and sweet game. So, uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for considering this submission.